This week we're going to be starting on the apple theme. There's apple picking all around. We have an apple fest uh, locally that the kids are going to be going to this weekend. And I just thought it was perfect timing to do some apple activities and read some apple books, do some cooking and some crafts. For this one, it's a paper plate and that's going to be painted red like an apple. And then I will hole punch the whole thing around the edge once it's dried. And then they will use this green string to lace around the outside. And then I'll probably glue like a little stem and a leaf on the top. So it just kind of makes a cute little apple. So I think those should end up kind of fun. This lacing string is kind of cool. It's got like a little end on it to help it go through, but I think regular yarn would work just fine. And then for this apple template, we're just going to squeeze some yellow and green, maybe red paint on a plate, and then they can use these different textured rollers to paint texture on that apple with different textures and color mixing. With this same template, I did this on cardstock and then cut these out, and we're going to make pull sun catchers. So the contact paper sticks behind it, and then they will stick these little tissue squares on the back and just make a nice apple sun catcher to take home and they can hang in the window. And then we also have the smaller apple template and I think I'll cut these out and give them two options for color mixing and then they can stamp these corks in it and just make little circle signs on their apples and then see what colors they end up with. And I might cut those out, put them on popsicle sticks for little props. I have this apple stamp and a tree stamp. We might do some stamping with that. This was with a how many apples on the apple tree. Just turn this into a basic sticker activity and then they can draw their families picking apples with that one. And then next we're going to do two baking activities. So the first week we're going to make these apple spice muffins and there's a little mini bic with that. And then these are, and that's a freebie. And then also these freebie sequence cards of how to bake a muffin. I also got some fresh apples and then I'll cut thin and then the kids can chop those up and we'll put them in a big pot and make applesauce. They can have that for snack. And then also I got these paper cuts at the dollar store a while back and I I think I'll just put those in the writing center. And then also these are kind of cool. These are fraction apples and they magnetize together. One of them's whole and then they've got the thirds quarters. And I think these were meant for older preschool ages, but these are really fun because they're kind of satisfying to click together and the kids can start working with some of that terminology like half and whole and then just have fun playing with apples and clicking them back together. And then we've got a few new books to work on. Um, how does an apple grow and apple picking day and then curious George um, apple harvest and then this one's the secrets of the apple tree that's an Usborne book that I picked up on thrift books which is a great place to find high quality books like Usborne books at a very discounted cost. I've got some new prints to put on the wall and these will just be nice to kind of freshen up our environment some pictures of apples and apple picking and then also in our dramatic play I'm gonna add just a little simple apple pie bakery and I've got a menu to go on the wall and some different pictures and a very simple little set of baking things and apple pie play set so that will be fun we'll get that put together and this uh, what's on the apple tree counting activity I thought would be fun to just put on the light table and I'll cut these apples out and put them in a basket and then they can just work with those number recognition and a simple counting activity and I also have some coloring pages and this tree page as well as this apple word page and then some simple coloring sheets. I can add these to my writing center. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. There's a lot of new activities. It's just nice to kind of start things a little bit fresh even though it is a lot of work. It always adds some excitement to our day. Stay tuned because I will be releasing a new video in the coming week just about us working with some of these activities in the classroom. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe because there's more to come.